An ArrayCalc project can be opened in the R1 remote control software to transfer all relevant settings directly to the system amplifiers. For this, it is necessary to assign loudspeakers to amplifier channels. This is done on the amplifiers view. The sources list contains all arrays and source groups of your project. In addition, there is a dialog called Add Additional Devices, which we will explain in more detail later. The quickest procedure is more or less automatic and takes less than 10 seconds. Link All Cabinets assigns the maximum possible number of loudspeakers to each amplifier channel. Configure All Amplifiers automatically sets the amplifier model, the remote ID, the output mode and the channel name. Then save the ArrayCalc project and open it in R1. It includes all amplifiers and channels addressed in the project, the necessary function groups, all control elements located on the remote views and all settings for levels, delays and other parameters determined in simulation. Selecting one of the sources details the patch and amp settings for the respective loudspeaker group. The header section provides global group and amplifier settings. The cabinet section offers individual cabinet information which allows you to patch amplifier channels to the cabinets in the array. By pressing one of the link cabinets buttons in the corresponding column, several cabinets are linked to one amplifier channel. Bear in mind that cabinets can only be linked if they have identical settings. The device and channel names of an amplifier are automatically generated by ArrayCalc based on the program preferences. You can also enter an individual channel name and change the output mode and the remote ID. Make sure that all channels of any one amplifier have the same remote ID. In each array dialog, you can use an individual Link Cabinets option for the selected source. Below the Sources list, a Configure Amplifiers option provides amplifier selection and configuration which only applies to this particular array or pair of arrays. The Configure Amplifiers option for a particular array automatically applies the settings you've made for the input type or input mode, input source and start ID. Point sources are set up in the same way as an array and provide the same options and restrictions. If you want to use the link cabinets and configure amplifiers options, it's recommended to form useful groups of loudspeakers with respect to their physical placement to avoid inefficient cabling. For the subarray, the device type to be used as well as the desired input mode and source can be specified separately. The Link Cabinets and Configure Amplifiers options are also available. The Cabinet section, however, is slightly different from the other sources because it is subdivided by subarray positions. Just like the arrays above, the subarray can also be configured automatically. Additional loudspeakers can be added to the project for remote control reasons only. They will not be acoustically simulated in array calc, but will be included under the defined name on a separate view in the R1 project. Within the configuration section, select the loudspeaker series and number of cabinets. Just like in the other dialogues above, you can define the device and input mode per group, as well as the input source and start ID. Specify the loudspeaker type in the cabinet list, set the link function, channel name and amplifier output mode and channel as necessary or use the link cabinets and configure amplifiers option for a quick setup. The additional devices will also be configured automatically when you click the link all cabinets or configure all amplifiers option. Once everything has been set up as desired, simply save the ArrayCalc project. If your setup does not comply with the requirements of an R1 project file, ArrayCalc issues a warning message. As a hint, 
All amplifier configurations can be printed directly out of the Amplifiers tab for easy configuration on site. When the system is set up, open the project file in R1. It provides you with a master view and one individual view for each simulated array or point sources dialog, for the subarray and for the additional devices as well as respective EQ views. To send all parameter values to the system amplifiers, simply go online and recall the array calc snapshot. Further information is available in the context sensitive help section that can be opened by pressing F1.